The femoral triangle. The femoral triangle is a superficial triangular space located on the anterior aspect of the thigh, just inferior to the inguinal ligament. In this video, we will be explaining the boundaries, floor, roof and contents of the femoral triangle. The femoral triangle has three borders. The lateral border is formed by the medial border of the sartorius muscle. The medial border is formed by the medial border of the adductor longus muscle. And the base of the triangle is formed by the inguinal ligament. The floor of the femoral triangle is formed by the iliacus muscle, the psoas major muscle, the pectineus muscle, and the adductor longus muscle. The roof of the femoral triangle is covered by skin, superficial and deep fascia. The femoral triangle contains three important structures. Going from lateral to medial, these structures are the femoral nerve, the femoral artery and the femoral vein. Additionally, it also contains the deep inguinal lymph nodes. A simple mnemonic that could be used to easily memorize the contents of the femoral triangle is navigate the femoral triangle from lateral to medial, where the first four letters of navigate correspond to the nerve, artery, vein and inguinal lymph node mentioned from lateral to medial. The femoral triangle also contains the femoral sheath, which is a funnel-shaped sleeve of fascia enclosing the upper four centimeters of the femoral vessels. The femoral nerve is the most important nerve within the femoral triangle. However, it is not the only nerve located there. The femoral nerve lies within the groove between the iliacus and the psoas major muscles. The two other nerves that are located in the femoral triangle are the lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh, and the femoral branch of the genitofemoral nerve. The lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh crosses the lateral corner of the triangle and supplies the skin on the lateral part of the thigh. The femoral branch of the genitofemoral nerve runs in the lateral compartment of the femoral sheath and supplies the majority of the skin over the femoral triangle. The neurovascular bundle in the femoral triangle is located medial to the sartorius muscle. Therefore, when performing the anterior approach of the hip, it is always safe to go lateral to the sartorius muscle in order to avoid the important structures within the femoral triangle. It is important to remember when performing this approach to avoid the lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh. Also found within the femoral triangle is the femoral sheath, which is a fascial sheath that contains the femoral artery, vein and femoral canal. The anterior portion of the femoral sheath is formed by downward extension of the fascia transversalis, while the posterior portion of the femoral sheath is formed by the iliac fascia. The femoral sheath is divided into three compartments. The lateral compartment contains the femoral artery. The intermediate compartment contains the femoral vein. The medial compartment, also known as the femoral canal, contains lymphatic tissue. The base of the femoral canal is formed by the femoral ring. A femoral hernia occurs when parts of the intestine protrudes through a weak femoral ring into the femoral canal. This video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.